Good morning children. You already know how to add fractions. Let us understand how to subtract fractions now. Aman got a cake. He divided a cake into five parts. First, he took three pieces. That is three by five parts. He gave one piece out of his share. That is one fifth part out of the three fifth parts to his friend. Now, how much was left with Aman after sharing with his friend? You know. Just like in case of fraction addition, when denominators are same, that is, fractions are like fractions, we can subtract the numerators directly and the denominator will be the same. So, after giving one fifth to his friend, 3 by 5 minus 1 by 5 will be 3 minus 1 is 2 and the denominator remains the same which is 5. So, 2 by 5 is the answer. So, 2 by 5 parts of the cake is left with Aman after sharing 1 by 5 parts with his friend. Now, let us take another example. Aman has 3 by 4 kg of mangoes. If he gives one fourth kg of mango to his friend, then how much is left with him? As we saw in the previous example, when the fractions are like fractions and the denominators are same, we can do the subtraction of numerators directly. So, to do 3 by 4 minus 1 by 4, we simply subtract the numerator 3 minus 1 which is 2 so the answer is 2 by 4 2 by 4 kg of mangoes are left with Aman after he gives 1 fourth kg to his friend now you may ask what is 2 by 4 kgs pictorially if we see 2 by 4 which is 2 parts out of 4 parts is same as 1 by 2 which is 1 part out of the 2 parts of a whole. Right children? We can do it mathematically too. We know if we divide both the numerator and denominator by any number say 2 we get an equivalent fraction. So, let us divide 2 by 4 by 2. In numerator, 2 divided by 2 is 1. And in the denominator, 4 divided by 2 is 2. So, the equivalent fraction of 2 by 4 is 1 by 2. So, basically, half kg of mangoes are left with Aman. Understood? Let us take another example to understand more. Suppose Aman had 3 by 4 glass of juice and he drank only one third of the glass. How much juice was left in the glass? So, just like we did fraction addition, when the fractions are unlike fractions, and the denominators are not same, we need to make them same to perform subtraction. So, in 3 by 4 and 1 by 3, we need to make the denominators same. So, we multiply each denominator with the other's denominator. 4 into 3 and 3 into 4. So, both are 12. Then both the denominators will be equal. In 3 by 4, multiply numerator and denominator by 3. And in 1 by 3, multiply the numerator and denominator by 4. 
Thus, 3 by 4 can be written as 3 into 3 divided by 4 into 3 which is 9 by 12. 1 by 3 can be written as 1 into 4 divided by 3 into 4 which is equal to 4 by 12. So, we get their equivalent fractions. 9 by 12 is an equivalent fraction of 3 by 4 and 4 by 12 is an equivalent fraction of 1 by 3. So, 3 by 4 minus 1 by 3 is same as 9 by 12 minus 4 by 12. So, let us subtract 9 by 12 minus 4 by 12 as they are like fractions and the denominators are same. 9 minus 4 which is 5. So, the answer is 5 by 12. So, 5 by 12 glass of juice was left with Aman. Let us take another example. Aman ran 1 kilometer on Tuesday and 1 by 3 kilometer on Wednesday. How many more kilometers did he run on Tuesday than on Wednesday? We need to subtract 1 by 3 from 1. But how to subtract a fraction from a whole number? You know every whole number can be written with 1 as the denominator like 2 is equal to 2 by 1, 5 is equal to 5 by 1 and 1 is equal to 1 by 1. When we divide a number with 1, the number remains same. Right children? So, it is 1 by 1 minus 1 by 3. To make both the denominators same, that is to get like fractions, we write 1 by 1 as 1 into 3 divided by 1 into 3, which is 3 by 3. So, 3 by 3 minus 1 by 3, which is equal to 2 by 3. So, Aman ran 2 by 3 kilometers more on Tuesday as compared to that on Wednesday. So, now you know how to do simple subtraction of fractions when the fractions are like fractions and the denominators are same. And even when the denominators are not same as in the case of unlike fractions. That is all for today. Bye bye children.